Welcome along to Cherry Orchard Way, just outside of Rochford, between Rochford and South End, around the back of the airport. And this is our 140th and last game of the season. And uh, we've chosen a game with plenty at stake, it's the only one left locally to be resolved. And that's uh, the old blue kit against FC Horndon in the all red kit. And uh, FC Horndon simply need a win if they win here at Mid Table Ashington, they win the title. They would uh, pit Fun Thunder United, both those sides are top two, when joined up from the now defunct South Inner District League. They folded uh, at the end of last season, there were barely any teams left in it, most of them have migrated over to this league. A few miles outside the South End uh, boundary, and uh, I don't know if they'd be staying this league next season or they'd be moving to the Mid Essex, but they're certainly uh, outside the usual South and Borough combination footprint. So whoever wins here will win the Division One title. Look, sorry, who, if uh, Horndon win, they win the Division One title. Anything less than it's Funders United who uh, take the honours. But it looks like both sides will go up to the Premier Division next season. Whether well, Horndon will want to stay in the South End set up, who knows, they might join the Mid Essex set up. We'll try and find out more later if we can. And as I say, this is actually in the football club, although they actually play outside the village, they play the other side of Rochford. AFC Horndon already won their up in this game, they took an early lead in the second minute. We were a bit held up getting here, but the keeper's already made a good save as well. So keep it, uh, prevent the score being 2-0 to the away side. So FC Horndon already on their way to oh, getting the victory they need. Because Kevin did, apparently someone didn't want them there. But no, I don't know if it's stopped. I'm not surprised they did that. Oh, 
I've done it my list. There was a barking, barking side game last year and it stood right up in the middle of it. I mean, I was actually going to physically shove him on the floor. Which might hurt some Oh, it was round then, wasn't it? About as I really can see, wasn't it? Definitely.
Obviously, they had a load of reserves, and that's the only way. Oh, yes! Keep it at the spot, that's 4 1. Five three days. Even added time here in this final game of the 2012-2013 season. Oh, oh great of the keeper! And uh, some top Ashton's afternoon maybe controversial ruled out. Uh, had a goal ruled out that was well in the back of the net. Even bulged and hit the net. We heard the net bulge. It wasn't given. That's two one then to Horndon. And uh, although he should have scored several chances. Feels that uh, they haven't had the rub of the green from the referee, and they had a two handball decisions go against them at both ends. Arguably with the third goal, that's a bit 50 50, but uh, it's like uh, hashing them were badly. Um, hashing them were, didn't get the decision that should have gone their way, but Haunton have got two late goals here to wrap it all up, and it uh, looks like they're going to be champions of this division. Fun to see United had a few people here. They've all disappeared, they know the results, they're not being down now. Ordered 4 1 up, cruising to the title. They'll be going up with Thunder Sea to the Premier Division next season on the South and Borough combination. But uh, from mid table side, Ashton have played their part and they played very well and they're unlucky. And as I say, the, the, uh, if that goal gone in at 2 1, it could have been a different game. But congratulations, Ordered. They won by four goals to one in its last game of the season. Full-time Ashenden 1, AFC Hondon 4, here just on the outskirts of Rochford. And after 140 games, that's it for the season for me. Thank you very much for all those who have watched all the games over the past 10 months. We've kicked off on August the 6th this season, August the 4th, sorry, on a Saturday in the season. We saw Enfield 1893-3, Burnham Mountains to the Essex Senior League. Essex Senior League kicks off again August the 3rd, Saturday August the 3rd. We'll be there for a game then, but we're taking a break now. All the action is now finished in leagues, so half of myself. Uh, I wish you all a very good summer. Thank you for all your ratings and videos and watching them. And uh, I hope to see you in August.